Hi guys, it's Tony, and I'm here at my desk, my messy desk, with my feather from the meet and greet. Maybe I should put that in my hair. There we go. I can't. Oh. Ow. Why am I trying? Anyway. <laughs> um, let's put it there. That, that's, that looks better, doesn't it? Oh, I can put it in my glasses. There. <gasps> so festive. Alright. I'm Big Bird today. This was from our Elvis night. So I'm Antonia Takes Two, and I'm also the with the Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America, so I shouldn't be so silly, right? <laughs> no, I should, because my job is to make fun. Ooh, that looks kind of pretty. Make fun things happen in Las Vegas. Um, anyway, I make, I'm just making a short update for a couple of reasons. Uh, get some information out there. There's some fundraisers I want you guys to be aware of. Uh, and a couple of new things. One is uh, Aaron Aiki is uh, doing a race at Disneyland. It's called the Wine and Dine. It's November 10th and uh, she is putting a team together of runners that are running on behalf of and taking pledges for the WLSFA. And if you're a runner, if you're in Florida in that area or you just want to go to Florida in November when it's icky weather everywhere else and gorgeous there, um, I'm going to be going, Dr. Garth is going, I don't know who else is going, I think we have like 30 some odd people signed up, but we're trying to make a pretty big team to run in that race. And so I'll put a link below on how you can find out how you can participate in that race. And then if you can't participate, uh, the people that are signed up to run on our behalf, they are going to be making pleas here on YouTube and Facebook and wherever to please pledge to help them raise funds. So if we don't have 500 runners, that's fine. If we can get 500 people supporting 30 runners, that's still a great fundraiser. So there's more than one way to drown a rat, kill a, I don't know. Anyway, you get it. Um, and so I'm going to, uh, I already signed up to do the 5K and um, <laughs> I better start like at least going out and walking to get into this because uh, I've never run a race in my life. But I'm going to do it. And uh, what else? Okay, so that's a fundraiser. And then there's another thing. Uh, as you know, we started chapters. And uh, I wanted to let you people know that are in Southern California. They're having a chapter meeting on the 28th of this month. And I will put a link below to where you can find out about that chapter meeting and participate, become a member join and uh, just want to help them boost their numbers. They're doing great. They've been building and building and building every month, but uh, I wanted to let you know the SoCal chapter is having a meeting. The NorCal chapter is also having a meeting that's up here in Northern California in the Sacramento area where I am, and we're going to have a meeting August 4th, so I'll put a link to that. And these are pilot chapters for what will be a much, much bigger program where we will have chapters across the nation. Um, but we're slowly building a very steady, strong foundation. Like, it took us a year to build the foundation for the WLSFA, right? To start knowing what we were doing correctly, building it, and uh, so it, you know, can be the strong uh, foundation that it is today. Uh, we're doing the same thing with the chapters. So we're making an operations manual and rules and bylaws and everything so that when a, a bariatric practice and their patients want to... to uh, build a chapter, they've got everything there in front of them. No questions are unanswered and uh, they know how to do it and what to do and, and etc. And the idea of chapters is they're going to raise money to help people in their location. So we're going to give local, right? That's give local. And then some of the money comes back to us, the National Foundation, and we'll use that to help people in areas where there aren't chapters or eventually We'll use those funds to give back to certain chapters. So maybe a chapter is like just a little bit shy of being able to help someone. So we'll augment, you know, what they've raised and, and do things like that. So all the money goes to surgery in the end. It's just we're distributing it across the country and getting a lot more people involved. Over the years, people said, how can I get involved? What can I do? And, you know, uh, this is great. You can get involved locally where you are building a fundraising engine to, to benefit the people around you. So I hope you get involved when we release that program to the 
greater community towards the end of this year. So, but anyway, SoCal, NorCal are having means. Oh, the Pacific Northwest is also a great chapter. Uh, Laura Van Tyl, she actually runs the entire chapter program. They're having a meeting, I want to say August 25th, that's it, in the Seattle area. So if you're up in Seattle, there's another chapter you can get involved with. And again, the link below. And then um, Connie, uh, Connie Bailey, our first grant recipient, who's in Wonderland, yay, you saw our crazy little munchkin dance for her. <laughs> Um, she has a fundraiser of her own. She makes those beautiful handcrafted name tags that hang on the wall with all the letters of your name. Uh, at, starting at $15, you can buy in for a chance to be drawn as the winner of one of her custom name tags that she will make just for you. Custom. She'll ask you your hobbies, your favorite colors, things you enjoy, things you collect, and she'll put those all on the, on the little tags and absolutely I cherish mine. Um, I absolutely do. She does not sell those. She only makes those for very special people in her life. And uh, she made one for, for example, the Dr. Garth and Robert Davis, right? And she, for me, she made one for my daughter and my son, my daughter-in-law and son, uh, for, as a housewarming present for their new home. So you can't buy these. This is the only way you'll get one is to win this. Um, and, you know, all the money, absolutely 100% of it, goes back to our fund and so um, she was going to end her contest the end of this month uh, but I believe a lot of people had put in the comments that they don't get paid till the first or whatever shh, 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 shh. sorry my doggies here shush and um, uh, so I think she's going to extend it a few days into August so that those people can get a chance to be uh, part of our contest her contest or her fundraiser and I encourage people watching a lot of people say can I do a fundraiser yes you know it just doesn't have to be complicated uh, we can make a little donate button for you and a page on our website for whatever your fundraiser is uh, in Connie's case she's making a name tag you know be creative think about uh, things that you can do um, to raise to raise funds it could be maybe that you knit and you make a beautiful blanket and we'll will sell chances to win a gorgeous afghan or you know maybe you make purses or whatever it is there's lots of ways to help uh, raise money and have these little sort of raffles online it's not a hard thing to do and people for whatever reason when they donate they love a chance at getting something you know um, it's fun right so think about it um, we're still selling our books thriving I don't know where I, I just had a copy of it right here now it's missing well anyway I'll put a link below but it's a great book about stories from our community we have only about eight copies left believe it or not uh, we've sold almost a hundred just ourselves I don't know how many Connie Stapleton has sold yet we haven't gotten a report and I have no idea how many were, have been sold on Amazon or Kindle uh, or at Barnes and Noble the bookstore but they uh, they're flying out of our shelves and uh, we make the most money off the ones we sell directly, myself and Connie, when we sell the author, Connie Stapleton. When we sell the books, uh, we, we get the most money for the foundation. When, when you buy it at uh, Amazon or uh, as a Kindle book, a downloadable book, um, it's, it's very little. But, you know, maybe there's going to be a big volume and I don't know, we'll see how much that makes. But we're very honored and grateful to have this book. It's a fantastic book, a great gift idea. It's a great icebreaker to give to people that are saying, oh, why did you have weight loss surgery? You should have just, you know, blah, blah, blah. Have them read this book. They'll understand the complexities pretty darn quick. So I love it. It's a fantastic book. And uh, Carrie De La Cruz made the cover. But I'm going to, I've got to get it. i to get it. Look at the book. You haven't seen it. Here, here. Here. Here's the book. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Carrie did that, and uh, I wrote the forward to the book, and my story's in there, towards the back, and uh, it's just a great book. And thank you to everyone who contributed your stories. I mean, without our community, wow, love you guys. And what else should I talk about? Meet and greet, meet and greet, meet and greet. Do you know it's been 70 days since we were together in Las Vegas? Oh, my Lord. We're... Um, we're about to send out a survey in the very first week of August to everyone who attended with questions about 
this year's events and ask for you know things that you might like for next year ask for your input and your suggestions and then we'll be planning uh, what we're going to do next year but I just signed all the paperwork again scary scary if you've ever signed paperwork with hotels it's scary because it's a big commitment but I know you guys will come through and you're going to come you're going to be with us again and uh, next year we do have a uh, what do you call it tagline or whatever it's the mother of all meet and greets plus one, which means you have the power. You right there, you sitting at home, have the power to double the size of our event. How? By coming to the event again, returning, and bringing one friend. Of course you can bring more than one, but if that's your goal, start thinking now, who can you bring? Someone from your support group, a family member, um, an old friend. There's so many people that support us. And you know how fun that event is. You do not have to be a weight loss surgery patient to enjoy a country, you know, line dance party or showgirls and Elvis. You can anybody's going to enjoy that kind of stuff. Of course, it'll be different next year. We're still thinking about what we're going to do to, you know, make it even more special. But um, part of the survey will help us uh, decide some of the things we're going to do. So we have ideas, but we want your feedback. So that's it. Um, the tickets for the rooms and all of that will be available in the beginning of August and uh, we'll start you know releasing information as as uh, as we make some major decisions on it so thank you everybody for watching my channel watching the WLSFA channel please go to Facebook we have a group there we have a page there um, and uh, stay involved I just posted a ton of pictures from this year's meet and greet from our professional photographer Deborah Huber she also has the ones that I post are just their web, their web. They're good for for sending on your cell phone, looking at it on the computer, but they're really not high resolution for printing like eight by tens. For two more months, uh, I'll put a link. Deborah's professional photography site. You can go there and purchase uh, the high resolution printed versions, and she will print them. She even offers framing services, and. Uh, a portion of her profits from that if you decide to have printed versions come back to us so, yay everybody gives a little bit back to us and we appreciate that very very much so thank you Deborah and uh, that's it for now 12 minutes I don't know how, to, how it goes so fast have a great week and I'll talk to you next time bye <laughs>